Hey, it's Brian and Sean, 2A Guys in Gear. Today we're out at the range. We've got our SIG 556R out here. And uh, one thing you guys have probably noticed with this gun, if you've ever shot one, is the safety selector on the gun from the factory is extremely small. It's actually kind of hard to actuate too. So, and the reason why, as you can see, there isn't much surface area for your thumb to grip on it, especially if you're wearing gloves. And you really have to break your grip off of the gun itself in order to actuate it. So I don't like it. So uh, luckily, uh, Krebs Custom, they actually came up with a new uh, larger sized uh, enhanced safety selector. And uh, it's, it's available on their website. And we're gonna show you how easy this, uh, this selector is to replace. And you can just see, just side by side comparison, the, the difference in it, it's night and day. So we're gonna head on into the shop and swap this thing out real quick, so stand by. Okay, it's 2A Guys in Gear. We're back here in the shop. We've got our SIG 556R and our Krebs Enhanced Safety that we're going to be putting on. It's really simple to do, so uh, let's just get started with it. So the first thing we need, obviously, is our, uh, our Krebs Safety. Uh, we're going to use a basic roll pin punch. We're going to use oil of any sort. I just happen to have some REM oil around, so we're going to use that. We've got a small ball peen hammer, and you may or may not need a screwdriver and a soft rag. So, um, as we talked about earlier, the safety on this uh, SIG 556 and 556R is actually pretty small and it's hard to manipulate. So we're going to put this Krebs Enhanced Safety on, which gives us a lot more, uh, I guess, metal to, to grab onto with your thumb or finger, whatever you're going to do to flip that safety switch. So now, the thing with this SIG 556 is it is an ambi safety, so it can go on either side. Uh, since I'm right-handed, we're going to put it on the left-hand side of the gun so I can easily manipulate it with my thumb. So let me show you how easy this is to replace. So, uh, good thing I don't have an optic on here yet, so I can simply lay it down flat right on the top rail. Uh, if you do have an optic on it, you can get a uh, AK-47 mag block and put it in a vise. So either one's fine. And now, I already did put a little bit of oil on this, so we're not going to do that again. Uh, but what we need to do, let's flip this up to the, I guess that's the fire position so that pin is sitting straight up. And then we're going to take our roll pin punch, drop it right on that roll pin, just start tapping it out. Simple as can be. Now it dropped right out, no problem. Now the, the new Krebs roll pin, for whatever reason, it's a little bit longer. So that is, I don't know why, but it's just a shade longer, but it is what it is. Now this, uh, this does pop right off. Uh, we did one a little bit earlier today where the, the safety selector was a little difficult to get off. So that's what we're using the, the rag and the uh, uh, flathead screwdriver for was actually kind of pop it off, pry it off if you will. So then what we're going to do now is we're going to take our new selector, pop that on, and then we're going to use the new roll pin that uh, Krebs gave us. And like I said, this roll pin is a little bit longer for some reason. So I'll drop that in. Let's see if I can do this here. Now we're just going to tap it right into place. Now what we do is just, you can use this pad to wipe off your excess oil. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple to use. Um, as you can see, it's a lot better than the original uh, safety selector. And check this out. You can actually get a nice grip on the gun or on the uh, safety itself. Easily manipulate that, flip it over, no problem. So. That thing is awesome. I love it. And that's my kind of gunsmithing repair too. It's quick and easy. It probably took us longer to get the camera set up and do all the editing than it uh, to replace the part itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a link to Krebs website down below and I'll link this right in the, the notes down below as well. So you can pick one up for your SIG 556 or your 556R. Um, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're about 20 bucks. So it's not bad. So it's, it's one of those things, you know, 20 bucks well spent. So made in America, you can't beat it. So check us out on 2aguysandgear.com and you can also find us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.